Let's take a look at the production of ribosomes themselves. This cell organelle, of course, is responsible for the production of proteins within the cell. And how does it all start? Well, it starts in this area called the nucleus. So what actually happens is you have these guys here, which are chromosomes, and you have specifically five pairs of chromosomes, which have the genes, which code for ribosomal RNA. And as we know, ribosomal RNA, which is this guy here, is the main constituent of a ribosome. Now, this is all happening within a specific area of the nucleus called the nucleolus. That is the nucleolus. And what's happening when the ribosomal RNA is produced, and just to clarify, this is the 45S, 45S ribosomal RNA, which is produced first, which then, of course, goes on to be further processed and broken down into 28S, 18S, 5.8S, and 5S ribosomal RNAs. Now, what's happening here when the ribosomal RNA is produced? This is going to join with these guys here, which is ribosomal proteins, right? And these are going to form, of course, about 40% of the total ribosome. So when the ribosomal protein and the ribosomal RNA join, they're going to form what's called a ribosomal subunit. Ribosomal subunit. And this is all within the nucleus. Now, these ribosomal subunits, what they do is they exit the nucleus through a nuclear pore. So these guys are actually going out. And these gaps, of course, are nuclear pores, so small holes within the nucleus where molecules can exit. And when these guys exit, what they do is they clump together in a specific manner to form the large and the small subunit of the ribosome and then form the ribosome itself. So the 28S, the 5.8S and the 5S molecules they will form the large subunit and the 18S ribosomal RNA that will form the small subunit which is 40S and the large subunit is 60S giving the ribosome a total of 80S Svedberg units which is a rate of sedimentation within ultracentrifuge so that's how a ribosome is produced within the cell.